976 is your amount that will go to balance sheet and this amount that will go to income statement all right this will go to income statement now fifo inventory so let's a tricky one first in the so first in will be sold first so first first you purchased so first you your balance so out of 318 75 multiply by 16 will be sold first these 75 units and then 95 units at 18 will be sold first and how much is left so we will be using calculator here Which means three one eight minus seventy five minus ninety five. Answer is one forty eight. All right. So one forty eight items left will be sold from twenty each from one sixty five units to twenty each. So when you add all these, you will get. Five eight. You add it. Five eight seven zero. So that will go to income statement. And left items. So one sixty five minus one forty eight. Answer is seventeen plus thirty five. Answer is fifty two. So seventeen would be recorded on twenty, while thirty five would be recorded on twenty one. So you will get one thousand and seventy-five. All right, guys. And now LIFO lost in first out. So which one is the last one that you purchase? In means purchases. So last that is coming in is twenty-one. So thirty-five units. Boom. Add. Uh, twenty one, and then one sixty five at twenty, and how much is left? Three one eight minus one sixty. Sorry, minus thirty five minus one sixty five. Answer is one one eight, and also ninety five by eighteen. And left twenty three would be from seventy five units at sixteen each. If you add these, your cost of goods sold gonna be six double one three. If you add this six double one three, that will go to income statement and fifty two units from. The sixteenth value that will be a thirty-two. So Oliver, not fifty-three. You write it down fifty-three. Okay, this is fifty-two. All right. Okay. So now let's compare this and deduct, deduce our result here. So FIFO first in, first out. Its inventory cost GDP is the highest one, which means balance sheet would be highest in FIFO because inventory will go to balance sheet and asset side looks more bigger. All right, cost of goods sold is lowest in FIFO. All right, lowest in FIFO when. Cost of goods sold is lowest, then profit gonna be higher. So when you multiply with the tax rate, tax absolute will be highest. Understand? So if you wanna look good on balance sheet, 
So CEO or financial analyst or the CFOs will choose FICO. Look, our business is, is expanding. We have a total worth, total asset worth, which is far greater than our previous year. They just have switched from other method to FICO, that's it. Nothing happened. And you, did you see the averages in the middle of that? So if you wanna pay lower taxes, pay lower taxes. So you see, your cost must be higher. The cost of goods sold number is higher. So it leaves, it will leave profit lower when you multiply by tax rate. It will be a lower number. All right. But if you but the drawback is it will look your balance sheet smaller because balance sheet inventory will be at older cost. I'm talking about LIPO, right? So it depends from your point of view. So remember, up to now what we have discussed, we are recording or sorry, we are finding out the cost of inventory based on inflationary period or when prices are rising. So when prices are rising, so I have a very nice hint for you, LIPO. Life will start with L and mean lower, but which means lower profit. Right? Lower profit means taxes lower, inventory lower, but Cost of goods sold because profit is lower, it means cost of goods sold is higher. So this is just a hint. LIPO, lower profit, lower taxes, lower inventory, and because of lower profit, cost of goods sold is higher. So the opposite is FIPO. All right, here. So when we have inflationary period when prices are rising, LIPO, COG, so cost of goods sold is higher, profit is lower, while ending inventory is also lower. So for that hint, LIFO, lower profit, lower inventory, lower taxes, but cost of goods sold, highest. That's the right? And opposite one is going to be FIFO, which is FIFO cost of goods sold is lower, opposite to this one. FIFO gross profit is higher, and gross profit is higher, opposite to the LIFO. Inventory is higher, inventory is highest opposite to LIFO. So in that case, tax is going to be higher because profit is higher, opposite to LIFO. So remember, this is the analysis when prices are rising, but when there is a deflationary period or when prices are decreasing, then everything becomes opposite. LIFO becomes FIFO, FIFO becomes LIFO. So FIFO gonna be FIFO, costing gonna be LIFO, and LIFO costing gonna be FIFO. So when prices are decreasing, cost of goods sold is highest for FIFO, profit is lower, Lower is the inventory and lower are the taxes. And there is a deflationary period. LIFO becomes normal FIFO, which is LIFO. Cost of goods sold is lower, but profit is highest, ending inventory is highest, and taxes are highest. So all the scenario changes when we are in deflationary period, when prices are decreasing. All right, everyone? Now keep track of perpetual inventory system. So it is impossible to apply LIFO to units purchased and sold as transactions are happening. Remember, this is for costing method. 
That's why we talk about costing, which means illusions of numbers, playing with the numbers. But in actual inventory system, it's not like that. This is a stack of goods that we latestly bought, so they, this will be sold first. No, in your go down, everything is selling according to inventory, perpetual inventory system. All right? It's not like, you know, in, 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 in LIPO inventory management system is not like that. This is LIPO costing, playing with the numbers. All right? So weighted average cost is quite challenging, which requires sophisticated software because it's, you know, it have some point number. So it's really hard because you are also making and buying at the same time and also finding out the average costing at the same time. So it needs costly software. So many companies track only inventory quantities during the period making adjust entries at the end to apply either LIPO or weighted average. So rather every day you find out the ending inventory and opening inventory for daily purposes, you just go for periodic stuff. Okay, we are maintaining perpetual life system, but inventory gonna be checked after a month, month closing. Okay. Our beginning inventory at the beginning of the March, this one, at the end of the March, this one. So during this, we purchased that one. So we find out the ending inventory. We just did in our examples here. All right. So tax advantage with the life flow. Remember when there is a low profit on the income statement with the life flow, then tax rate going to be low. Remember that doesn't mean that actually you are following the inventory management units are sold first no this is for costing purposes so on income statement you look bad when you look bad your profit will be lower so in this case you receive some kind of lower income taxes you receive some extra cash we call this tax shield what we call this, the name is called means tax advantage. All right. Again, LIFO doesn't mean that actually physically you are selling goods that are lost, purchased, and sold first. No. The inventory management system or sale are happening like normal stuff, but when you are recording, when you are costing, when you are making the financial statements, you are following LIPO as a costing method, just playing with the numbers, all right? And with playing of the numbers, you will find out decrease in taxes and you save some money. We call this tax shield. But the drawback is that your balance sheet looks smaller, all right? So comparing LIPO with the FIPO, like I told you, so LIPO provides more realistic net income figure. Why? Because cost of goods sold is the highest number according to inflation period because pricing are rising, prices are rising, right? And prices are rising, your profit looks more realistic. But your income statement is basically, uh, does not, uh, you can see that looks real because old.